So with many students returning to the classroom now, there's an added emphasis in hand washing. And uh, since my wife is a teacher, I've been trying to help her set up her classroom in a socially distanced manner. And uh, notice that her hand washing station was a little bit lacking. And I'll show you what I mean here. So currently this is the hand washing station. Uh, looks like the kids are not allowed to use the water fountain, but you've got the sink area here, an automated uh, soap dispenser, and of course the uh, paper towels here in a basket. What kind of concerned me was kids are going to get to wash their hands but they're, they're going to bring their hands over here and you can see that the paper towels are just going to get dripped on and kind of a Mickey Mouse situation over here. So uh, what I want to do is I want to install this dispenser on the wall right here. It's just going to kind of sit up here. We're gonna drill some holes in here and then you know the kids will be able to pull the paper towels out and then just toss them in the garbage here. So here's the finished product here. We've got our hand washing station and previously we had a basket full of paper towels. Now we've got a nice little paper towel dispenser. I think a lot of people when they review this they mention that the, uh, the paper towels tear and I did kind of experience that just now and I really kind of didn't know what they were talking about until I just experienced it myself. So I'm gonna try it again. I think the key is to use two hands. Or maybe just have less weight. Because I, I noticed that it is kind of a little bit heavy. And when you pull it out, there is kind of this weight factor. So let me pull out some of the paper towels. So I figured out the direction of the pull makes a difference. Uh, previously it was reversed the other way so that the, uh, the flap stuck out from the front instead of the back so we flipped it and it works a little bit better so if you experience any tears when pulling then try to reverse the direction of the pull. So not only does pulling technique make a difference but the orientation of the flap also makes a difference as well. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I think there's there's a certain technique that's kind of required when pulling, but for the most part, uh, we got the paper towels protected from drippage, um, and uh, you know there's a cover here, so it's a little bit cleaner, and it's kind of a nicer solution. So if you're looking to improve the uh, uh, situation in your home, then this is this is a great solution here. Alright, I hope you guys found that helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next video.